everybody, it's Margaret. How are you doing today? So, the other day we were unboxing this jar that I got from Savers, and I didn't get to finish because we had to rush out of the house at the moment. So I thought I would come back on and share with you guys the rest of this um, jewelry jar. And then I thought we would stick around at the end because I had a couple hauls. Well, I've got a few that have come in from Shop Goodwill. Um, but I had a couple that were sterling silver. They weren't huge hauls, but I thought that'd be a good accompaniment. Accompaniment. Um, so I'm going to do, I'll share with these the two sterling silver hauls with you after we get done with this part. And I'll talk to you about the Shop Goodwill lots I picked up, how much I paid. And one of the things in this pile will pay for it all. Ooh. Okay, so we'll come back to that in just a minute. So let's finish this up. Hello, hello, everybody in the chat that is there, that could be there. Uh oh, on my end, it's looking funkadelic. Can you guys see this? Let me refresh my page over on YouTube. There we go. Okay. Um, here we go. All right, so how do I want to do this? So I'd already pulled aside a few little bits like so that was a little bit from last time It's a teeny piece of silver, but I have a silver bag that I put um, All my silvery stuff in and then we were looking at this. I think it's just like a little plastic piece That was oh, you can't see it um, So that was setting to the side as well, but it was not magnetic. I don't think it's plastic though So I'll look at it closer in a second, but I don't think it's anything really but you never know. You never can tell. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to, let's see if I can scoot this. There we go. And we'll just slide things down and take a peek at them. How about that? How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing well. We, we took kind of a mental health day. We did a bit of, no, I'm not going to lie. We did a tiny bit of school, very little. Um, but we've been so busy, I don't feel bad at all. They did school over the weekend too, so that also doesn't make me feel too, feel too bad. All right, so here is another little bit of like probably silver that I can stick in my silver bag. It's that, it's gonna bother me. It's probably gonna bother you too, huh? Some of you, not all of you. Okay, I got lotion on too, so okay, there's that. That's going over with my silver stuff. So this is cute, right? Looks like a little Hello Kitty. That stuff is gonna bother me. Why am I so picky about this? Tell me. There. There. Okay. There. All right. Hello Kitty. So whether or not this is an actual Sanrio piece is another story. And da, da, da. I'm pulling this chain to see if there's any kind of tag on it. There we go. I don't see any like Sanrio marks. So what do you think? I mean, I mean, I could put I don't know if I could put Hello Kitty if it's not for sure Hello Kitty, but I could put Kitty with a bow. You know what I mean? Because that would be, what's the word I'm looking for? Where you can't put the keyword spamming or whatever it's called. Okay, so that's magnetic. But I think that's cute. I think somebody would like that. Kitty cat. It's not missing any of the stones. And then this, you know, we had a red one like this that was a Sarah Coventry, the blue. So here's the red one. We had a red one last time and somebody left a message or a comment in the chat or the description or gosh, I can't talk today that they saw a Sarah Coventry plastic necklace like this that was selling for a lot more or they had sold one, something like that. So look, this is another Sarah Coventry one. I thought so. So I'm going to look that up in a minute because <laughs> yes, exactly. Gangsta kitty bling. Because, oh, Tangles. Yeah, I knew Sarah Coventry was collectible by some people, but I wasn't, I'm not an expert in that. Oh my gosh, this, here we go again, right? We had this discussion. Some people love detangling. I'm gonna unhook it. How about that? And then perhaps I can extricate it. There we go, got it. It's out of there. Oh. <sighs> There, I, I mentioned this last time. I think the problem is when I start detangling stuff, I hold my breath and it makes me really stressed out. So slowly pulling this next chain for us to look at. Everybody else, go over there. So this one looks pretty cool. What have we got? We have these, looks like mother of pearl kind of abalone shell. 
um, charms with some looks like sand dollar style charms. Some glass beads, those are glass beads. That's kind of cool. I, again, not my style. I mean, you can see some, some definite wear to the silver finish, but let's see, it's Chico's. I don't know. Like normally, if it's not in really good shape, I won't sell it, but that, what do you think? Would you go for it on that one? I mean, Chico's is a collectible brand, or a sought after, I don't know what collectible, but sought after, people like it. And it's kind of got a, I don't know, cruise, maybe somebody on a cruise would like it. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, so there's that one, but it's sellable. I mean, so it's a sellable piece. Oh, I forgot to mention this jar from the other day, two days ago, I got for $14.99. Anyway. So let's try to get another piece out of this mess over here. I know it's a weird time of the day, but I forgot to share this. So if you're in Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers and you want to share it, or International League of Thrifters, or if you're in another group, or know some people that like jewelry, go share it so they can come hang out with us and talk jewelry. Okay. So, last time we were talking about paranormal stuff, wasn't that fun? And donuts. We really spread the gamut with all the topics last time. <laughs> all right, here we go. So, this piece, hmm, let's take a peek. It's kind of got that bone look to it, but it's not plastic. Um, I mean, I guess there's people that like this style. <laughs> it's kind of a tribal style. Oh, look, it broke right off. But that looks like an easy fix. Can she fix it? To those who say, Margaret does not repair jewelry. Prepare to be amazed. Feast your eyes on whether or not she can actually do it. <laughs> My finger keeps pushing the bead up. And it might be painful for you to watch. Aha! It can be done. You have witnessed a miraculous thing. Anyway, <laughs> so that's done. Um, no maker's mark on that, but it's a pretty cool piece. I mean, it'd probably go for at least 15 to 17, somewhere in that range. If you think I'm wrong, let me know. I'm happy to be wrong. Okay, so next we've got this, looks like a faux tiger's eye. The reason I say faux is it's, Usually with tiger's eye, when you when you move it, it kind of moves. You know, it kind of has like a, what's the word I'm looking for? It moves. You know what I mean. What do you think? Do you think that's real? Not real tiger's eye, because that it doesn't have that same quality. Oh, brother. I can't think of what the word is. Um, you need some jewelry making tools easier on the nails. <laughs> yes, thanks, Pink, Pink Harpy. Uh, I see them every now and then when I'm out garage sailing and I used to have some but I gave it to my aunt for her grandkids to use to make jewelry stuff it's a cool piece however chat chatty I don't know if that's the right spelling but I think that's what you mean um yeah that's the that's the kind of druzy quality but you know how on a tiger's eye when you like tilt it the like stripes kind of move Almost like, not iridescent, not like a hologram sort of effect. Plus, it's not cold to the touch. I think it's just plastic. It's likely just plastic. Okay, but it's cool. I think somebody would still like that. You know, that's pretty cool. And it's in one piece. Nice. Probably not for a ton of money, but yeah. All right, so here we've got... This is magnetic, so this is probably like a hematite bead. Yeah, they're gray, hematite. It's hard because I'm looking down through the phone, um, and I have to pull it out so I can see if it's gray or black. So, yeah, some little hematites on a stretchy band. Ch chatty, chatty yants, yants. Oh, my gosh. If I try to say that, I'm going to butcher it. Can we just call it Chantilly? No, we can't. That's another word. It's easier if I can make up my own words for it sometimes. <laughs> All right, next up, we've got this uh, little seed bead kind of flower necklace. That's cute. Probably just go into a lot, though. 
Same thing with this. Tell me what you think about this flat style, like pearly. Oh, come on, chain. Look, here we go. Breathe. Breathe. Here we go. You did it, Margaret. Oh, breathe. There we go. Worcestershire. 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 Okay, you picked another hard word. Worcestershire. Worcestershire? Anyway. Okay, so yeah, this will probably go in my fake pearl lot that I've got in a box and not started yet. So <laughs> that's what that is. Tell me if you would you would sell that by itself. I'd like to know. All right, so here are some more. I'm having to force myself to slow down and breathe. Oh, gosh, because it's just like I said, it's different. I can I can do it maybe when I'm all by myself and I don't have people watching with anticipation. There. Oh, we did it. Okay. She toyant. That can't be right. Is that right? She toyant? Oh my gosh, you're messing with me. <laughs> That doesn't fit with any of my phonics rules. Sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, can, Pink Harpy asks, can you sell all this jewelry on Etsy or does it have to be vintage? So yeah, Etsy has to be vintage or handmade or supplies. So like if I have this and I broke it all apart, even though it's not vintage, but I broke all the beads apart, I could sell it as a supply because it would be a supply to make jewelry with. So, depends on how you, you know, like if I had a broken, if I, if I had this and it was broken, even if I had a whole bunch of broken pieces of jewelry that were new, um, but that I was putting up for the purpose of people that, that repurpose jewelry, you could sell them, if that's confusing, apologies. Um, so yes and no. If it's just straight like this is obviously, it's not vintage, I don't think anyway. Um, so this, if I sell it as is, as a necklace, it would have to just go on eBay. Unless I could convince myself and the world that it was vintage. And in this world, vintage is anything before the year 2000. Oh my gosh. Anything before the year 2000. Okay, I'm trying. I'm pulling this out of your view to try to... I don't think I'm going to be able to do this on camera. I'm just going to have to give you a general idea of what this necklace is like. Okay. Yeah, if you upcycle the piece. So if I just repaired it, let's say there was a tassel that broke off and I put the tassel back on. I still can't claim I made it. <laughs> but if I like glued a witch on a broomstick and like wove in some like little skulls or I don't know if I change this up and made it upcycled, like, uh, who was it, decorating yourself says, then I could say, okay, there we go. I've changed it enough. What does it have to be, like 30% changed? Something like that. I may, I, I may have pulled that number out of a different area. The, the, things have to be changed 30%. Okay, so this is a double strand necklace. This is the longer part, this is the shorter part. So when it hangs, this piece kind of like hangs in between the chain up there. But I can't detangle it at the moment. Because, just because. <laughs> All right, so this, again, sa Saving Private Ryan is 20 years old. Oh, my gosh. Well, here's the thing. It, it's 2019, right? Pushing 2020. People born already this year are 19, which just blows my mind. We're getting old, y'all. We're getting old. All right? <laughs> All right, so this one is broken, and I could restring it. If I restrung it, I still couldn't sell it on Etsy because that's just a little bit of a repair. But I probably won't. I'll probably just put it in a craft lot because it's cool, though. It's got fun pieces. It is missing some of the little stones, cabochons. <laughs> Clang. All right, we've got 30 friends watching. What are y'all doing today? Have you listed anything? I did. I'm bragging on myself because I finally did. I've been listing the last few days. Hello. Hello, Teresa. <laughs> All right, so we've got this necklace that the chain is really tarnished. Only, I'm not sure that it's silver. I don't think it is, even though it's super tarnished. Come back here, you. Um, no, it's not. It's just, I don't know if it just 
the way it is or dirty or what. I'm looking at it. Like I say, if I look through my phone, it looks darker than it does under the light. But it's kind of neat the way it's put together. It almost looks handmade. Little bits of shell. I think that would probably sell. Kind of a boho piece. I'm saving some of these fun silver bits till the end. Okay, next. You listed. Yay! I think I, I, think I maybe listed five things today. Some of them on eBay and Etsy. Someone just on eBay. Uh... Uh-oh, is it not working, Lil Lydia? This is it. Can you see me? All right, so here we've got, this is a plastic star that's got some, looks like mother of pearl kind of shell suspended in it. It is broken. Let me move this so y'all can see it a little bit better. It is broken. Um, but it, look, I could repair this. However, it looks like there are, well, maybe not. Here we go. She does it again, perhaps live for your viewing pleasure. She repairs not only one, but two pieces of jewelry. Oh, come on. This death defying feat. Don't try this. Oh, you know what? You could probably try this at home. You'll be fine. <laughs> you could probably do better than me at home. Okay. Come on, everybody. Give some thumbs up. <laughs> Give her a little encouragement. She can do it. Yay! And the crowd goes wild. Now, can she close off the loop? Finish it. She's got to stick the landing. Oh, gosh. I'm going to lose points for not sticking this landing. I, I need tools. I need tools. This is probably hurting your eyes to watch. There. Sort of. Okay, we'll go with it. Go with it. Ha ha. Ta da. Ooh. Ah. She did it. Okay. <laughs> Please tell me you do this to amuse yourself too. All right. It's just not just me. All right. So there's that piece. Uh, it's not awesome, but it's. I think somebody would probably like it. Maybe. Okay. She went to all that trouble. <laughs> Am I talking about myself in the third person? That's so weird. It's weird. Don't do that. Okay, I dropped something. Let me grab it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> hello, hello. Man, my nails are they're pretty they're pretty tough. Okay, here we go. Next. So here's a piece of maybe maybe silver, maybe just like plated, probably plated something. Let's get the magnet. Put it to the test. It looks like it's probably played, plated, but I'll put it over to the side. Here's why I say. Oh, the edges look kind of off. Okay, I'll put it over here just in case. It doesn't hurt to check it out. There's lots of little bits like this, that, that are kind of broken, but that's okay. You know, if you get enough little broken pieces in, a, in your silver bag, then it starts adding up. So come on, go over there. You too, go over there. Okay, I see a butterfly. Let's see if we can get this butterfly out of here. There's the butterfly. I'm going to unhook the chain so we can try to see it without all the other mess. There, all right. So what do we think? I'm looking up here, there's some, I don't know if that's tarnish or just kind of wear, because it's all over, you can see. You think it's supposed to be there? No, I don't know, because look down here. This part's a lot shinier, or it looks like some of the blue has rubbed off, maybe. Uh, so I'm not sure I would sell that. What would you do? Tell me if you would try to sell this butterfly. Flaws and all. And then it's got the these beads up here. Hmm, I don't know. You don't get your jewelry jars. Uh, you can always do Shop Goodwill. I, I don't know if they ship over the... I'm guessing you're in the UK. You would? Okay, maybe I would. It's kind of unique, right? Why not? We could give it a try. All right, next. This, oh, all the strings. All the strings. It's like, it's like the fishing wire jewelry. It just tangles everything up in it. I may not even attempt to 
detangle the whole thing because it's just gonna make me crazy look. So here, what do you think, Clarins? That's like a makeup brand, right? It's probably somebody who worked at the makeup counter. I don't know, do you think somebody would want that? I don't, I'll have to look that up. You never can tell what people want, you know? All right, let's see if we can't get this out of here. This is just gonna go into a, a lot of, yeah, mess, a lot of mess. There's that, clippy. Everybody, just all, this whole thing, you get just all of it, you get to go. I'm not detangling you. Not today, not today. Okay, this one's cool, let's see if it's not broken. All right, look at that. So this looks like little like plasticky pieces. You like it? Okay, cool. Maybe I'll try it. So this is fun. It kind of has a like faux Edwardian kind of look to it. Look at this though. What is? What do you make of that? Or is that just a bead that got randomly put there? Or maybe, oh, I bet it used to have like a frame around it of these little barrel glass beads. I wonder if I can pop that off. There, I did. Haha. -ha. Now, symmetrical, much better. Okay, that's cute. Is it broken? It is broken. Oh, you're kidding me. She's going for a three for y'all. Yes. Yes, she is. Here she goes again, she's saying she. <laughs> this truly is a miraculous day. We may need to buy lottery tickets, <laughs> all of us, <laughs> consecutively. <laughs> okay, that's a cool piece. Yeah, I like that. Haha, -ha. it doesn't have a maker's mark or anything. That's the back, like so. But it's cool, I think that will sell. I do. All right, <laughs> yeah, it looks like a nightmare catcher, that one. So here's another one. This has kind of got a, a funky, cool, like new deco look, kind of like 80s deco, art deco kind of style, art deco revival. What other keywords would you put on this? Hammered, triangle, that's kind of fun. I think somebody's gonna like this. So now I'm looking to see if there's any kind of maker's mark on it. There's nothing here, pulling it out. I'm gonna take it down slowly for you so you can see the whole thing. This is kind of cool. I can see someone really liking this. It's super long though. Oh, I told you last time, I've got to figure out how to take pictures of long necklaces better. Yeah, exactly, power dressing. For my business lady, what does that say? We're zooming in. For Oh, is that like a Forever 21? No, it says forever, but then it says, no, oh, maybe it's Forever 21. Water resistant. The back missing. So this will probably just go in like a broken watch lot. It's got some cool pieces though in it. Components that maybe somebody would like. Broken. Okay, zooming back out a bit for you. All right, there's some pretty purpley pieces. Let's put those over here. Oh, there's that. Is that all of them? Okay, so there are some purple amethyst colored earrings. I'm looking on the back. They're probably just like fakey little stones, especially since look, when you flip it over, the back is closed off. So that is more indicative of it. Not in my, in my finding, um, it's probably just plastic, but they're still pretty. And then these ones are cool. There's two of them, are they exactly the same? Yeah. So, I mean, chances are they're lab created, but they're still pretty. The chains are broken, so that kind of stinks. Oh, they're earrings. No, they're not. Ha ha ha. Oh, these are threader earrings. How fun is that? Okay, that's even better. So this is this part slides through the ear. I didn't even catch that. And then they would dangle like that, you know? So there's these are earrings. Oh, how fun are they? Now I, now I like them even more. I like long hanging earrings. Like I could totally try those. What do you think? Ooh. They are magnetic. That's okay. I like them. I'm gonna stick them to the side. They're probably not me. 
those are maybe too young for me. Another bit of like silver, put that over there. Let's see what else we've got. We've got the other earring. This one has, the, I'm zooming in on it, because this is the one I have that was missing. I'm looking at it to see if I see any, anything. Do y'all see anything? Oops, bonk. I'm gonna zoom in some more if I can right there. You see some kind of, you see that? Sorry, I need some lotion. Do you see those little sketchy, not sketchy, but like kind of tick marks there on that? Let's see, I'll go get my loop if we can't see. It looks like a 14K, what do you think? Let's go get my loop. You guys see if you can riddle it out, maybe too hard. Okay, I'm walking over to get my loop, just right over here, hang on. Okay, coming back. How fun would that be? Now remember, just because it has a mark doesn't mean for sure it is what it says. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, I have a ring light, so you're getting blasted with the light. Can you see that? Probably not. Oh, okay. Let me turn off the light. Boom, it's gonna be dark. So we can tell ghost stories. What do we see? Nine to five. So it is likely that it's just like plated maybe, or another possibility, bloom, is that um, just like the earring part is silver. But I'll, I'll look at it closer later. It gets to stay over to the side now. Cool. Hello, hello everybody. <laughs> They look like dollhouse. Oh, yeah, they do. <laughs> okay, so next up. Oh, I already showed you those. Okay, move those to this side. We've got, well, that was almost exciting. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been fun? They were gold. I always like it when we have surprise gold. Who doesn't like surprise gold? That's what I want to know. Who's like, oh, darn it, gold. Psh. I was hoping for plastic. All right, so here's just some little, those will probably go just in an earring lot. Next, we've got some necklace. It's tangled, naturally. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm still zoomed way in. Okay, so here's this. It, it would be a really cool little chain. It is also broken. I'm not going to try a death-defying feat of repairing this one for you, though, because that seems a bit beyond my skill set at the moment <laughs> with fake nails and, and whatnot but it is totally magnetic. So let's remove that one. Okay. So next we've got these really cool faceted Aurora Borealis. Um, well, they're not, I don't know if exactly they're Aurora Borealis. Maybe I've got a hint of it, but they're pretty cool beads. Um, Zoom. You know, next time I might get some my felt to put down because this is really clangy. The only thing is that this does not have a clasp. But I think I'm going to give these to my sister. Even though they're not glass, I think she could still use them. Here's a piece of wire, which, you know, everybody's excited about usually. Not at all. And let's check out some more of this chain and see what we've got. I don't mind broken chain, you know? Like I said, if it's silver, I can stick it in my silver bag. So this one might be, I'll have to test it. It's got some really gross. Anyone wanna, you wanna take a guess what that is? Anybody? Let's zoom in. What say you? At first I thought maybe hair, but then I thought better of it. It looks, oh, there's a bit of hair in it. Um. It looks kind of like the stuff you find in the dryer. Sorry for making you gag, but um, maybe the back of a sweater? I don't know. Okay, well, we'll just call that. It's not Halloween yet, but you know, we're getting there. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty gross. Okay, so the other one that I had that was like that, again, now I think it's definitely not gonna be silver because then now I can see that this has been rubbed off and there's like a copper undertone to it. <laughs> 
I'll bring that back to disgust you with later. How about that? How's that for a promise? All right, we've got a pink ribbon little pin that will go into a lot as well. This looks like a finding for a, there's some sort of stone that was supposed to be on this. I don't think that's a ring because this part's really sharp along the top up here. That would be a painful ring. Okay, so, oh yeah, that'd be cool. Dan says you could always sell the broken chain looking chains on Etsy for folks who make model boats and sailing ships. That's a good idea. All right, so there's that piece. I don't, I don't think it's silver, but I'm gonna stick it over there just in case, maybe it is, I don't know. Then we've got like a little in-between piece that broke off of something. We're getting there. We have some more broken chain. It's like a little ball chain. Some more, are you so, oh yeah, it's just all, I think it's all just broken at this point. So yeah, I think the rest of it's all just broken chain. Broken silver, but that's silver, so cool. I mean, if, in, if all of this ends up being silver, and it's all like just broken bits. I mean, that started to add up to something right there, you know, because now you've got a good little bit of broken stuff. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, I'm not good at guessing weight, so I won't even try. It's like five pounds, officer. No. Oh. All right, so. Oh yeah, same thing here, Pink Harpy. It's the um, cancer charity, the breast cancer awareness. All right, so let's take a look at the silver lots that I got. So I'm trying to think, do I know where? Oh, you know what? I do know where some felt is, and it's sitting right beside me. Isn't that handy? <laughs> I was thinking, I just saw some felt. Where was it? Where was it? And now watch, it's going to be the wrong color for silver. It's going to be all like black, and hang on, we'll see if this works. If it doesn't, I think that'll be okay. What do you think? All right, we'll know for next time. <laughs> I put my computer on it. That's why I don't remember exactly where it was. All right, so this, these pieces are from two lots that I got off of Shop Goodwill. One of them is a ring lot. Let me pull it up over here on the side. The ring lot, um, I paid $31.88 for. So let's look at the rings first. Let me pull the rest of this out. So these rings I paid $31.88 for, and there was one, the funny thing is, and I mean, if you've watched me for a while, I've told you this story already. When I bought the lot, um, there's one ring in this lot that when I was buying the lot, they had this ring by itself selling because it is a desirable ring by itself. And so I'm gonna let you guess which one and that particular ring, if it sells for what I think it's going to sell for, will pay for the whole lot and everything. So I am putting all of these rings on so you can see them upright. Isn't that fun? Okay, so which... Hang on, let me get this one on here over here because it's bigger. And I'll let you guess. Uh-oh, I've got to pull my chat back up so I can see what you're saying. Don't guess yet. Okay. So here are your options. <laughs> if you want to guess, we'll, we'll say pinky ring, middle pointer, and then like from the base, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, let me see. I'm flipping back over. Oh, nobody's playing yet. Okay, so I got all of these rings for, thir what did I say? 31.88. And one of them will probably sell for... Let me look on, I'm looking on eBay right now. On the solds, I'm seeing on solds on eBay anywhere from $35 to $75. Isn't that fun? I guess it just depends on the size. So, pinky flower, it's not this one. Nope. I'll give, well, if I give you a hint, you'll know exactly which one it is. You ready? It is not this one. It is this one right here. This ring right here is a James Avery, and I knew it, because I live in Texas, apparently everybody in Texas. No, I'm just joking. Not everybody in Texas knows James Avery, but let's look at it. 
and then I'll share the rest of the rings. So this ring was being sold by itself on Shop Goodwill at the time that this one was in this lot. So, um, but of course the one that was being sold was really polished up. So this is a retired James Avery ring. Let me see if I can get the mark for you to see on the inside. It's really tarnished up in there. I may not be able to right now. Do, 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 do. I may have to show it to you later when I clean it up. Uh, anyway, so, um, but this one is called, what's it called? It's called Hearts and Flowers on, um, anyway, very uh, apropos, right, name. So yeah, that ring will probably sell for, what did it say, 30 something dollars. I'm gonna have to clean it up though. That's the only thing, is that it's gonna need to be cleaned. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna look again. Here, let me put these over here. I really, I want, I want you to see the mark. I'm trying to get, I don't know if I can rub off the tarnish on the inside. This is one of the, I get that question a lot. Like, do you clean your rings? Um, do you clean them up? I don't normally, but like this one I will. Yeah, I'll just have to clean it later. This one I will. So, yeah, anyway. So <laughs> that's that James Avery ring. <clears throat> and let's take a peek at the rest of these other ones. So this one, and now the ring, the lot was listed as a assorted style rings grab lot. So it didn't even say they were all silver, but they were all pretty much silver. I'm looking at this one. That one is marked 925 as well. Again, stamps are cheap, so you wanna make sure you test everything out. That's a silver, just kind of like band ring. Um, here is another, let's see if that one's got a mark. We're looking on the inside to see. There's a money sign, sweet. And I'm gonna flip it over. I don't know that, <laughs> that mark brand uh, with a money sign. But okay, that's a fun little like stacking ring. Here's another, uh, you can't see that. And it's always worth checking out these plain bands because um, that's got that same dollar sign in there. Because James Avery also sells just plain bands. Do y'all know what that is, that dollar sign? Is that a brand or is it just an S? I'm trying to see. It looks like a dollar sign. Well, maybe it's just an S, I don't know. Okay, next one. Says 925 and I can't really tell what that is underneath it. Can you? Oh gosh, I have my chat flipped away. And it says true love weights. And I don't think I see any other marks inside that one. Nope. And then we've got this cool star one. Like so. Oh, my nail. I, I just put lotion on y'all. Save your comments. Those of you who like to criticize, that does bother me. Sorry. It's funny how people comment <laughs> some of the meanest things <laughs> there. Okay, so that one is marked 925 as well. I don't see any other maker's marks. They're still fun, right? All right, this one's fun. This like flower, like blob sort of flower ring. And I don't even see a 925 on there, but it's cool anyway. We'll just check it out when I test the other stuff. It probably is silver just based on like the part that, you know, is rubbing against your skin. Looks more so, yay. Hello, YouTube started working, good. All right, so here's this one. This looks, oops, super rustic, like somebody handmade it, like a homemade in jewelry class kind of ring. But somebody might like that kind of rustic style, maybe. I'm saving this one, can you tell? All right, here's another little braided, almost like a pinky ring. You think it's a toe ring? I don't know, or a tiny little pinky ring. There, there we go. Okay, this dollar sign one, Peyton says, probably stacked together. Now to find them again, which two were they? These two, like that, stacking together. That makes sense, right? <laughs> okay, 
Then we've got this one that looks like a little branch and it's got more than one stamp in there. Let's see if we can read it. I cannot. What do y'all think? Okay. Yay. Yeah. So I'm not sure about that one. Okay. So, but this one, um, is a spinner type ring. Okay. So this is one side and then that is the other. And I love spinner rings. And so I'm tempted to keep it because, because, right? So that one might just be one. You gotta have a perk when you get these things. Oh, I forgot, there's one more. It's a, it was a tiny one. It's got a teeny cross. I wonder if it goes with those other stacking ones. Let's zoom it in and see. So this one, yeah, isn't this spinner ring cute? I, I might just keep it, honestly. I need to go through all my jewelry that I keep and decide if I'm gonna to continue to keep, because I can't wear it all. Anyway, I like it. All right, so those are the rings, and that one James Avery will definitely pay for everything, and then some. So there's those. Sorry, I keep zooming out too far. Y'all are getting a nice view of my planner on the floor. Okay, and now let's look at the other lot. The other lot was another silver lot, not these. And we have two pairs of earrings, a necklace. Was that it? Let me see. I think that's it. And it was $9.99. So let me see. Let me make sure. $4 shipping, $4.77 shipping. Um, yeah, okay. So, but for $9.99, I won this, this lot off of Shop Goodwill which I think is a steal. So we've got these post silver earrings and I almost feel like they're, I don't know, I need to polish that up a bit and see if the dome is silver. I think it is, yeah. You can see as I rub the tarnish off that it's getting shinier. Okay, so there's those. And I don't know exactly what those will sell for, but they're really cute. So they're, hello. Nice to see ya. So there's those ones. And then, but definitely I probably sell these for at least 10 bucks, if not more, probably more. And then, oh my gosh, yeah, my Harry Potter jewelry box is super full. I need another one. <laughs> I need another one. And then there's these sweet ones that are, you know, kind of, what do you call that? I don't wanna say stacked, but that's what it makes me think of because it's kind of taller. And then it's got this hematite, stone in it those are super cool as well they're kind of heavy but they're fun 925 on the back if i'm seeing that right yep and then this last one <sighs> you guys i don't know if i can sell it <laughs> um these ones will make the money back right watch how i talk myself into keeping this one these earrings are going to make that ten dollars even the shipping back for me but y'all know how i love labradorite and this has got a really pretty piece of Labradorite in it. Let me try to zoom in. Let me turn that light off. So this one doesn't, now you can't really see it as well, sorry. This one doesn't have as much blue as my ring. I'm not wearing it, of course. But that Labradorite ring that I've got, that's big and, but isn't it gorgeous, darling? Oh my goodness, I think I have to keep this one. So yeah, this one will probably be a keeper for me. Maybe it'll be, it is my sister's birthday, so maybe it's my sister's birthday present to me. <laughs> is that fair? If you are watching later, tell my sister happy birthday. <laughs> so yeah, if you haven't seen any of the videos of my sister, I suggest watching one because they're a good laugh. She is a very funny girl. All right, so that's that. And yeah, there we go. There we go. Um... Was I gonna say? Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. So those, I'm trying to zoom it out and it's not letting me, hang on, there we go. There's my mess again on the floor, there. Okay, so this is a necklace that I will probably end up keeping, truly. Um, I know my little sister, she's getting so big. Uh, gosh, is this a big one for her too? Or was that last year? Oh brother, I'm not gonna give her age away. But anyway, I think these will make up for it. Honest to goodness, I'm gonna try these on and see if they look good on me too. I'm just, let's just get real about it. There's so much that I don't keep 
that the few the few pittance little pittance that I keep don't amount to much now, do they? <laughs> I'll sell all the rest of this, all of the rest of this stuff, and I'll keep the few little bits. How about that? That's fair. <laughs> all right. Okay, everybody, I appreciate you coming to hang out. I'm in the process of editing a video. Which one was it? I think it's another mug video um, where I go to the thrift store. But um, yeah, because it's hard to get everything done as a mom and a homeschool mom. It's, yeah, it's, it'll come out soon. But I appreciate everybody coming to hang out and watch. And if you're watching later, leave me a comment. And let me know you were here so that I can say hello. And thank you, everybody, for coming today. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye, everybody.